If Apple made a Mac Pro Mini, this is probably what it would look like. Hey guys, Tony here from Tony Tech Bytes. If Apple really did make a Mac Pro Mini, this is probably what it would look like because it would have a high core count CPU first and foremost, which I have in this build. It's a 12 core Ryzen 9 3900X from AMD. Apple probably wouldn't use an AMD processor because they always use Intel CPUs. Still, it's a high core count CPU and it also produces a lot of heat. For the graphics card, I'm pretty sure they'd make sure the base model has at least 8GB of VRAM, like the $6,000 Mac Pro. And this RTX 2060 Super from NVIDIA has 8GB of VRAM, so that's good enough for this build. Keep in mind, this is a video editing build, so it's not the absolute best GPU that you can put inside a PC. Oh, and as a random side note, I'm not going to Hackintosh this build, and this is not a Hackintosh, in fact. This video is more of a showcase of the insane hardware that you can pack inside a minimalistic 8.2 liter case, and also demonstrate the similarities between this hardware and what Apple might include in a Mac Pro Mini. I'm also not sure if I'm going to Hackintosh in this in the future because it's an AMD CPU and an NVIDIA GPU which is literally the opposite of what Apple uses. So I don't think it would run very well and I'll probably run into a lot of issues and I also don't have any experience with Hackintoshing so it's just going to be a huge headache if I attempted to do that. So alongside a high core count CPU and 8GB of VRAM in a graphics card, Apple would probably include 32GB of RAM. So in this build I have 32GB of 3200MHz RAM. This fits perfectly fine in the case and the Big Shuriken 3 CPU cooler has unlimited RAM clearance so that's really cool because I use Corsair RGB Vengeance Pro. I didn't want to go for low profile dims because I already had these and I thought they looked kind of cool because they do glow with RGB capabilities. And obviously if Apple did make a Mac Pro Mini they would not have RGB RAM. That's just not part of their design language. For storage, Apple will probably include a lot of options for SSD storage. I have 1.5 terabytes of SSDs in this build, one terabyte being a PCIe 4.0 drive just to take advantage of the X570 chipset. As we know from the Mac Pro, Apple's a ton of configuration with the SSD storage, so obviously you'd probably be able to cram a ton of storage inside a miniature version of the Mac Pro. So this case is the Loki Ghost S1, like I said before. At its basic form, this is an 8.2 liter case. It's super minimalistic. The front I.O. is literally just a power button. There are no USB ports in the front. And I think this looks really clean. There are also a lot of cutouts on the sides and the top for airflow. And I think Apple might do a similar approach to this because with their Mac Pro, they actually have really decent airflow with three fans at the front pushing cool air straight through the components. As for cooling, I think I might go for passive options where they have just large heat sinks on the CPU and graphics card, and then mount chassis fans at either the front, the top, or whatever. Do either intake cool air straight through the components or exhaust hot air from the components. They're doing this with the Mac Pro where they're just using case fans pushing air through the case. Apple will probably also make the Mac Pro Mini user accessible like their Mac Pro. And with this Loki Ghost S1, you can just pull the side panels off after unscrewing them and you got the top panel really easily because it's held by magnets. I think Apple would do a similar approach because with their Mac Pro, you can easily open it up and install new RAM, install SSDs, a new graphics card, or whatever you want. I hope they do the same thing because user upgradability and customization is one of the strongest points of Windows PCs and also increases your product's longevity because you can always just upgrade your graphics card, RAM, or SSD. That's the only thing to keep in mind with this build and it's kind of crazy how I managed to cram all this stuff with a little bit of modification inside such a small case. So to sum it all up, the Loki Ghost S1 is a super clean and minimalistic case with a really cool design and the limestone color really resembles Apple's silver products. The fact that I managed to cram in super powerful desktop hardware inside such a small form factor really just goes to show how technology has advanced throughout these years. You have really small motherboards, smaller SSDs, smaller graphics cards, smaller power supplies, and really power hungry specs that can be fit inside such a small case. So if Apple did make a Mac Pro Mini, I hope they'd make something tiny, but also doesn't experience many thermal limitations like with their MacBook Pros. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Also comment down below what you think about my build. And if you think Apple might even make a Mac Pro Mini, I'm not sure if they would do that in the future, but I hope they do. If you also want to check out anything that I use in this build, like the Loki Ghost S1 or the Big Shark 3 CPU cooler, I'll link it in the description down below. 